Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Kennedy. Today I'm gonna give you guys a mini closet tour. I have turned a bedroom into a closet using the IKEA pack system. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my IKEA packs and then show you guys my vanity. Before we hop right into the tour, I wanna go ahead and tell you guys about what I'm wearing. I've gotten a lot of questions on Instagram and Snapchat today. So this dress is from Fashion Nova. I'm gonna be sure to link it in my description box. So if you want a purse, it's gonna be there. And I just paired it with a um, black turtleneck. I think it's from Forever 21, but honestly, you can pair it with any sweater. Too. Let's go ahead and hop right into the closet tour. I went to Ikea and they have a little kiosk where you can put in your room dimensions and build systems however you want it. You can like place your windows, wherever your windows are. So I went to Ikea, I did that, decided to do three of the 39 inch eight foot tall pack systems and then do two of the corner units. Also add it to my corner units on your doors. Now to get into my first um, system with I got the soft closing hinges so they open up pretty wide so when you first look in up top I have shelves to use into my 39 inch up top I'm thinking about um, getting like cute little bins so that I can store stuff up here but right now I just have a cute little scarf that I got from Target and in this area I store my bodysuits, which if you guys are having trouble on um, hanging bodysuits, buy baby velvet hangers. They fit perfectly. Moving down, I have just some sweatshirts here and then house hips here. And then I got a mesh basket here, which is just like miscellaneous stuff like bodysuits or um, crop tops that I couldn't hang. Now, moving on to my 39 inch. Again, I have a shelf up top. Um, going to at home or somewhere tomorrow to try to find baskets. If you guys know somewhere that has good baskets, please let me know, comment below. But right now I just have um, my AKA bag that I got as a gift when I crossed. And then my first rail here. I just have all my sweaters and I try to color coordinate so it's easier to find stuff on my whites, blacks, whatever. And then moving down, it's kind of miscellaneous, kind of hard to understand, but I'm gonna try to explain to y'all. So I have some crop tops here and then it goes to like short sleeve shirts that I want it to be hung and not folded. And then the rest is kind of like going out brunch, like dressy-ish clothes. And then the very back, I have long sleeve rompers. So, that is my first system. Go ahead and close this. The middle unit is literally my favorite just because it's so simple. Up top, I just put some coats. I'm gonna change them out because I don't really like these coats. Um, these coats is so pretty on like it will literally make you look expensive and this was less than $15 Black Friday a couple years ago from Forever 21 out of all places and then these coats I got this from Soho a couple Christmas ago again less than $20 and then this it's another fur coat that I got from Forever 21 Black Friday a couple years ago also less than $20 moving down you see my vanity impressions bluetooth led mirror this mirror honestly like is bomb for traveling just because you can literally it's so thin and like lightweight you can pack it into like a duffel bag or suitcase and it's a speaker so like you don't need to bring a speaker because you have a speaker here and it gets pretty loud um it also came with this five time zoom here and you can take it off as well moving i tell y'all my whole thought process on this area so to start it off, I just had a plain white shelf on top of my drawers. And I'm just going to do like decoration pieces on top of it. 
and then I was thinking I was like you know what like that's so boring I want to get the glass shelf so I got the glass shelf and I was like hmm I'm gonna do a pull out tray underneath it and then probably just put like jewelry in it to display my jewelry and then when I installed it well when my dad installed it for me I was like wait I don't have anything to put my jewelry in so This is, I call it my Chanel drawer. So I have two Chanel books here. I've had this book for a while, but I picked it up and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna put this book in there and then just go from there like this as a focal point. And when I opened it, I flipped straight to this page and I was like, wait, I have Chanel bags that have this flower on it, but like an opposite. So like that would be cute together. So I did that. I added another Chanel book, which I believe I got this book from Amazon and I'm pretty sure it's under $20. If I can find it, I'm gonna link it in the description box. Added some pearls, cute little suns, and then my favorite Chanel lipstick. I have some more lipstick in this one as well, but I'm not planning on using them anytime soon, so I know where they are. So that is that part. And then below my middle shelves, I just have four drawers that's going down to the floor. And these are just like t-shirts, like leggy jeans, and then my skirts. Just things that like I didn't care to like hang up and things that like I didn't want to be shown as well. So y'all, that is my middle unit. And then moving on to my third unit. Again, mirror doors. And the first thing you kind of see is either, depending on how like tall you are, you're either gonna see my luxury catch all tray or my jewelry on shelf so just start with my jewelry shelf honestly like this whole unit like i still working on it don't really like it that much but it works for now so on this one i just have some of my favorite my course watches my catch all tray with some miscellaneous stuff and then going down just four jewelers with like my undergarments, my underwear, bras, socks, and then shorts and stuff in the bottom bin. So this drawer, I call it my problem drawer right now because it's one of those, like, I don't know if I like a drawer right there, if I should add another shelf or what. I've been thinking that I might do a glass drawer here so you can see through it and then have something cute inside of it. I don't know, you guys give me some um, opinions and some ideas. And then moving up to my luxury tray, I just have some boxes here. And then just a perfume, a lotion, and a bag up top. I'm still just deciding what to do with this. I really have no clue. Okay, but then moving on to my last 39 inch. Up top, I have just like my lighter coats. And they're all organized up here. I have jean jackets, my blacks, then going my blues and greens, my grays, just light coats up here. And then moving down, this was an accident. This shelf was actually supposed to be above my coats, but my dad put it down here because he thought I wanted a shoe rack, which was more because I didn't plan on a shoe rack. So I have two shelves down here for shoes. I'm still trying to think of like a way to organize these better. But right now I just have like my taller booties up here, some short booties here. These are just some sneakers and then like all my heels like open toed heels are here and then a couple of sneakers down here and that's pretty much my pack system so now taking a turn to this wall so i got these two benches from target i'll pull this one out so you can see it so I got these two from Target. First, I got the round one. I was like, this would be super cute. I can pull it out and like push it under my vanity. If I don't want it to be in the way, I can put it in the middle of the floor if I want to sit down and just think about what I want to wear. But then once I got, I was like, you know what? I think I want something that's a little bit bigger. So I went back on to see if they had a bigger one on Target's website and they didn't, but they had this, which is part of the same collection. So I was like, okay. 
and I got it like it's super cute but I don't know if I like how long it is so right now what I'm thinking is I'm going to look for a white leather uh, round like huge chair where like it kind of takes up a little bit of the rug and then a little bit of the hardwood floor I feel like that would just be different since my rug is kind of like furry ish like I don't know it's textured and I think it kind of just offsets a little bit with the fur chair with the fur rug I don't know I'm not really loving it but yeah that's that so now moving on to my favorite part of the room minus my Chanel drawer but we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up so I have two Alex five drawers down below this one over here holds my makeup and then this one right here is like my hair stuff in the bottom it's a little bit of my supply for my lash business that's going to launch next year and my linen table this is actually like the biggest one um, I looked at a lot of YouTube videos and the one that's smaller than this you can't fit like a chair in it so I decided to go with the bigger one and then I added on the Alex drawer add-on, like desk add-on, just because you guys, like, I love drawer space. And, like, I just want a lot of storage. They're not that big, but I feel like I can do, like, my face primers in one and, like, eyeshadow stuff in another. So it's easy for me to get to. Right here, I have my Kate Spade She Book and then um, one of my Alpha Cap Apple books. All the gold accessories are just things that I already have for, like, my old vanity which I'm still like looking for different decor to put up here I'm thinking about doing Christmas stuff but we'll see if I find some stuff tomorrow the giraffes are actually magnetic which I love because if I have like bobby pins I can easily just like when I take them out I can put them on there the gold pineapples are actually candles but they're kind of burnt out so what I'm going to use these for is like little catch-all to put Let's see if I can show you guys. So they're kind of, this is kind of deep, but I'm going to take the rest of the candle out and use this as a catch all tray or a catch all like little jar where I can like hide some stuff. They are like some jewelry probably. And this leaf also from Target. This, my brush holder is from Target as well. I um, found this in the school supplies. So pretty sure they still have these and then this is also part of the giraffe collection I believe all found in the school supply section and this right now this just holds some magazines I don't really know what I want to put on it if I want to keep it there I'm thinking about getting like acrylic holders so everything's like nice and clean but I don't know do you guys like the gold let me know and then I also have these cute marble coasters that's from TJ Maxx so if you guys are looking for coasters definitely check out TJ Maxx I think I got a pack of four or five and they're just kind of like laying around like in here and in my bedroom I call this my investment piece because this bad boy was an investment to say the least so this is the impressions vanity um, Hollywood glow pro it's really big they have smaller ones but I knew I wanted my vanity mirror to be big I wanted to have lots of lighting this literally just checks off everything it's 15 light bulbs it comes with a dimmable switch on the side and then on this side it also has two USB outlets and two like plug-in outlets so like once you plug your um, vanity mirror in you don't need to look for another plug-in because they're all on your mirror which is perfect so yeah, this is my bad boy. Just to finish off the rest of the room. Usually my ring light is right here, but it's right there for right now. And then I have this Amazon clothing rack, which is nice because you not only can um, hang stuff in the middle, but you can hang stuff on the sides. Like, let me tell you, like I used to have all of my thick like fur coats heavy like winter coats on this and this thing did not bend or anything so i would definitely say this is a good investment and it wasn't that expensive as well right now it's just holding my clothes i'm gonna do a clothing haul on one 
rail right there and then there's another rail down the bottom now to move on to the door this door this is actually a closet which kind of i'm not going to show you the inside of it but it just holds all of my like winter coats right now up here i have a shelf that i don't know what i want to do with i definitely want to change out these for different um ones ones that look cute what i want to put up here if i want to put handbags or just boxes um with like seasonal clothing that i don't need to get to every day i'm still working on that and then this here's the door so y'all that was a quick mini closet tour um there's a couple things that I still need to do, like change the like fixtures and a little bit more decoration. So there might be a part two, so stay tuned with that. But I will be uploading a clothing haul soon, either from Boohoo or Fashion Nova. So look out for that. If you liked what you see, you want to see more from me, go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And thank you, 